needed to, to look out for. You know, when uh, I think I think the, there's a person that uh, when, I mean it was there's one time it was like Sheffy one eight seven, Sheffy one eight seven, Sheffy one eight seven, right? Mm. Then 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 Muzo came. I was like, wow, this is this guy is actually good competition for Sheffy one eight seven. Exactly. Exactly. And then I heard you guy you two on a song. I was like, wow, these guys are at par. They're they're killing each other. They're they're doing the thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, how do you feel when you meet someone like like that? I mean, Muzo even up to now. You, when you listen to his albums, they were just so, so different and so deep. Mm -hmm. I, and as someone introduced me, I, I, I never really listened to the album, but I was listening to it like a like few months ago. Mm -hmm. And I listened to his lyrics like, wow, this guy, this guy had it, had so, had something that he was talking about. I mean, do, do you listen to artists like that in Zambia? <laughs> uh, I'm yes. Saying, I'm saying had because, uh, I'm, I'll well. tell you the truth. I'm saying had because he's not what he used to be. Okay. All right. Not so, what he used to be. Just thought about it. <laughs> so uh, I think Muzo is is a more meticulous chef one eight seven. Yeah. Is uh, a more detailed chef one eight seven. Um, and I, I remember when Muzo came out on the scene. Yeah. All I could think of was, well, this guy is going to be uh, the next big thing. So yeah. uh, whatever I do, I should just make sure. I am right next to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, yes. So you brought him closer. Uh, yeah, yes. So I got him closer, but also even in the industry, I realized to say this is a guy I am always supposed to be next to yeah. because he's going somewhere. So yeah, uh, that is the type of relationship we had, and yeah, it's always nice to have young artists that motivate you, yeah. that that uh, challenge you in in in, in some way. Uh, because that's the only way you you get better. You learn from people that uh, have gone before you and people that have are coming uh, after you. Speaking about that, I'm, I'm thinking now you're maybe in the mid 30s now. I mm -hmm. don't I, I don't know how old you are now because you, you seem ageless. Uh. <laughs> but uh, I, but I'm thinking if I if my calculations are okay in my head, mm. you're probably like 30 something, right? I'm I'll put it at 36. I'm an 80s baby, so 80s baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, mid 80s. Yeah. So how 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 hard is it? I mean, obviously there are young artists that have come out, uh, people with fresh ideas, people who are doing. How hard is it uh, to remain relevant? Like you said, when Muzo came, he was younger mm -hmm. and he had the vibe. Obviously, you got something from that. Mm -hmm. uh, who, who are you getting something from now? Like in 2023 uh, on the 15th of May 2000 at, at 8:26. That, that's an interesting <laughs> question because uh, as we get older, hip hop gets younger. Yeah. Mm, uh, the, there's rappers uh, at the age of 15 these days, 16 yeah. these days. So it's difficult to compete with them, uh, but you have to respect their art form and always learn from them. That is how I stay relevant. I. I not only learn from the older generation, but I, I learn from the generation coming behind me. 